So here we are in the second part of our filleting edge. So uh, as you obviously saw in the last part of our filleting edge, when we completed our fillet, uh, we lost our surface here. So I'm just going to go over uh, probably the easiest way to patch this surface and uh, make it a solid object again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to surface. And I'm going to select the patch tool. And I'm just going to go around uh, all of the edges here and I'm going to select all of them and this is basically just going to create uh, a patch, a surface patch between all of these edges here when I'm completed. So likely the reason that this happened was uh, this area in here. Uh, we have so many different edges to select. Um, so it's really difficult to make sure you select the right edges. So basically, um, just kind of through trial and error, I figured out that uh, you want to select all the edges that have arrows facing in. and it should complete the patch properly. Um, if you finish and you get errors down here that say, that say unable to patch, uh, it's likely just because you selected the wrong pieces of the edge right there. And it didn't create a closed network. So I'm just gonna go through and finish selecting all of my edges here, I can zoom out so you can see and uh, cross my fingers and hopefully this will work. Uh, so this looks good, hit OK, and as you can see I uh, successfully patched the surface. Make sure there's no errors anywhere around. Uh, so now we can kind of go and zoom out 360 view and uh, you can see that we have our guitar body and all the ed edges are filleted uh, to 10 millimeters. We have a tapered fillet here so that we can uh, finish this fillet and it's been covered with a plate when we actually build the guitars. And uh, even if you look at it here, you might look at it and say that's not quite a perfect fillet. You can kind of mess around with the handle numbers that we use to get that to be a nice and smooth transition all the way through. But uh, we're going to be sanding it anyway after we make it. so. It's not a huge deal at this point. Again, right there, the same problem. So just to uh, kind of wrap this section up, we did a quick Boolean split and then we filled it all the way around. Uh, again, there's another whole video series on how to complete the Boolean split there. I know I didn't go into any detail in this video series on how to do that, but that is filleting an edge.